So in the abyss of the Geth update, companions received the first wave of their rework. Overall, this was mostly quality of life and increasing their survivability. However, the new bond mods were implemented and boy oh boy are the results showing just how good these really are. Now I'm happy to cover those mods in another video. If you guys are interested in me breaking them down, let me know. But for now, I want to showcase a build that was brought to my attention. Because since then, I've been overly using this build as it doesn't only help my weapon builds acting like a primer, but it's also solo and steel path content on its own. Yeah, being carried by a hound companion in 2024 was not on my checklist either, but guys, hey, we're off to a flying star. Let me go and break down what you need to know with timestamps added beneath the video. What are the hounds and where do you get them? The hounds are modular companions that were introduced to us within the Sisters of Parvos update. After vanquishing the sister, you'll go ahead and get hound components and a blueprint. You'll be needing at least one hound blueprint, one core, one bracket and one stabilizer. So when you have those, you can build your first hound within your foundry. And when crafted, head over to the NPC legs in Fortuna where you can then configure and build your hound companion and it's entirely up to you on how you want to compose your builds don't sweat it choose whatever you want to so now that you have an unranked hound companion you're all ready to go now unlike the sentinels the hounds are not as unique you will still want to build all three of them for marshy ranking but in terms of what they offer they mostly share between themselves what i mean by this is that you cannot equip a mod that's designed for the carrier sentinel and use it on the helio sentinel they are specific to their type listed at the the bottom of the mods you see the hounds type is shared so once you have all three of them it's really up to you which one you want to go ahead and use that being said though do understand that each hound comes with their own weapon which is similar in stats but different in status and they all come with a different audit mod so again grab all three of them but use whichever one you want to okay clark okay so why are they so good right now you see, when the bond mods were released, they actually helped the offensiveness of our companions. But more importantly, one of those mods synergizes so well with the hounds manifold bond so let's go ahead and put this briefly whenever a companion uses their precept mod ability the manifold bond will apply status effects from the companion's weapon this acts like a primer if you will so when you go ahead and combine that with the synergized perspective mod the hound shoots out a spark of electricity procking electric damage and electric status on enemies more importantly it bounces due to that it can go ahead and reapply elements quickly this will seek out enemies within 30 meters, but with a 10 meter radius around it. So as shown here, you can see how much potential this already holds. But for those who don't understand what a primer means, let me explain. As we move to the topic of builds on the hounds, we're going to be using the Akaten weapon as it gives slash and puncture as its innate stats on the weapon. Slash is good for dots and puncture helps boost any criticals we do to the enemy. From there, applying the likes of viral to amplify any dots applied to the enemy, heat for extra dots but also minor crowd control and armor strip, and then we can go ahead and put the new mods that we get from the whispers in the wall update, which contain straight up radiation, can also all come together and make this builds when you go ahead and take that into account this hound can apply all five of these elements but it will also be playing an electric proc as well with its mods bringing it to a total of six status elements being applied to the enemy and reapplied quite easily as well now we do have mods such as galvanized aptitudes savvy shot as well as condition overload in which all of these mods increase our weapon damage scaled off of the amount of elements the enemy has applied to them Basically, this is a huge amount of free damage we're gaining with absolutely little effort. So that's a quick and general condensed idea of a primer. Something to apply to an enemy for something else to scale and benefit from it. Alrighty then, Clark, what about that build? Now, as we dive into the builds, the hounds can always equip one of each hound mod type. Prospectus, these are your damage mods, electric, blast, and heat types. Audit, these are your utility mods, more so defensive in a way. Knockdowns, disarms, but also a bit of overguard stripping. And denial, these are your survival mods, reflection, agileness, and in a way, kind of confusion. I've had a little test with all of them, and this is personally what I found working better for my build. For the perspective mod, go synergize. The balance of the spark is too good for reapplying elements. This should be your main go-to for the build, especially in offensiveness. The audit mod, go for null. So this mod takes quite a fair bit to go ahead and learn because yes, it strips enemies overguard by 50%, which is good and helpful to us. But more importantly, depending on which Eximus unit it takes from, depends on which bonuses the hound now benefits. And not only can it help itself, but it can help you as well. So an example of this is the hound 
Hound uses the no audit ability on Guardian Eximus, the Hound can give itself and allies damage reduction buff. This adds an extra layer of protection for us, or the likes of Energy Eximus, where the Hound can now give allies free energy per second. Now, I will go ahead and attach a link to the Warframe Wikipedia in which you can read more on these, because it will take a bit of practice for you to learn which ones to benefit most from. However, there is one that is extremely disruptive to you, and I will go and tie this in the video so that you're aware of it before it happens. Arctic Eximus basically turns your Hound into a damn walking frost globe. See, you can go shoot from within it, but you cannot bypass it and shoot from one side to the other. This causes problems if the Hound decides the path straight into enemies. So yeah, be careful on this one. I personally try to nuke Arctic Eximus whenever I see them to help void situations like this, but either way, it's RNG when it's happening, it's niche, and it doesn't happen that often. And finally, for the denial mods, I go for Reflex. This gives your Hound a reflection and helps spread those status elements as well whenever enemies are attacking the Hound. It's helpful, but it acts just like the Arctic Eximus no audit situation. This can absorb your damage, so it's a little annoying at times. Unfortunately, I don't think the other denial mods are great for what we have in mind here, so regardless, we just stick to Reflex. As for the other bond mods, I do like synergizing with these. Momentous bonds. Whenever you go and kill an Eximus unit, your hounds will gain a random element added to it for 30 seconds. So this is great because we can go from already six elements to now seven elements. Either way, it's an increase. This mod also helps reduce the recovery timer of our companions by 18 seconds as well. And up next, the more important one, Contagious Bonds. This mod was so strong, it had to be capped. Whenever an enemy dies to your companion, it spreads 50% of status effects to nearby enemies. Now, this used to actually be uncapped, and you could see over 10,000 heat procs on an enemy. Now, the mod itself can only reach 100 max stacks. You can, however, apply more procs to enemies, but it has to come from either you or your weapons on top of the 100 stacks. But either way, the mod caps there. It's still extremely strong, and as shown, it can solo still pass situations. For the rest of the build, you should mostly go and take utility and survivability, so whatever you have, go ahead and put that in there for your hound to help you. Overall, it's been fun seeing a companion like the Hounds go from being one of the least used in majority of situations to arguably being one of the best companions in the game right now. If you haven't yet tried to build, try it. I didn't think we'd see something replace the likes of Panzer Volpa Vila, yet here we are. Alrighty then, that's just about it from me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then a friendly reminder to like and share with a friend if you know someone else who would enjoy this as well. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, but as always, I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.